SoapCentral.com presents the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From the Pasadena Civic Center in Pasadena, California, it's your host, Dan Kroll. Hey. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> it's kind of fun to be back doing all of this. I know that, you know, we've back chatted, yes. uh, but for just a moment, yeah. what is it like for you on this this first daytime Emmys red carpet? Is it everything you hoped and wished for? What's going through your it's mind? It's more than that. It's more than that because I was at the Creative Arts uh, uh, yes. event last week and I didn't get to do the carpet. I was too late. And so I just thought that the carpet was the little small area that's over there. So that's kind of what I was expecting yeah, coming yeah. in today. And then they're like, we're going around the back. And then we get back here and there's all the lights and <laughs> people saying my name. That I'm was like, a step oh, and repeat. This is the red carpet. Me. Yeah, this is it. yeah this I is thought it. the step and repeat was the red carpet. I, I never did this before. <laughs> I ain't never been here before. So, it's good. It's good, I know. <laughs> it's, it's wild. Now, you've done a handful of red carpets before. Uh, maybe a couple handfuls. Just a couple. <laughs> you know. And a handful of nominations. Handful what is it? And a win. Um, and what is it like? Does it feel different now that we've been away from the red carpets for three it years? It does. Yeah, it does because, you you know, I've got my mask in my pocket that I'm putting on half the time and half the time I'm not. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a, there's a different atmosphere with everything. The whole world's different. It feels different in, in a lot of ways. and this, But it's so nice to get back and see people that I haven't seen. You know, we don't see people on other shows. We can't, yeah. nobody comes to visit because you, you can't look yeah. them on the set. Yeah. So it's it's nice to see folks that I haven't met that I've admired and people I've known for a long time. It's good. This is where the interviews usually go off the rails. So sit back, enjoy, and watch this one. Uh -oh. Everything that's happened... We'll <laughs> Everything that has happened to your character yeah. since the last red carpet three years ago, in 30 seconds or less, go. Oh, what's happened to my character? I, I think Abe has dated at least four or five women that right. uh, have some lefty, uh, uh, Tiba us and uh, yep. uh, Vanessa, and the list goes on and on, and now Jack A. Harry is on the show, and her daughter comes on the show, and she causes havoc everywhere, and my daughter continues to cause havoc and have babies, and uh, Abe has not been arrested, although everybody else has. That's I have plus. been shot twice. I've been That's shot about eight or nine times, but twice in the last three years I've been in the hospital Ooh. and knocked over the head once. Other than that, nothing. Uh, I mean, everything yeah. else is gravy. That's, yeah, That's everything fun. else is good, yeah. Did you know all that? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a lot, right? I knew he was shot. <laughs> but not twice. Yeah. Twice. Nah, not yeah. twice. Yeah. I only knew about one. I only knew about yeah. one. Yeah. Something for you that I've been doing this for a couple of years, we'll say. One of the, when I first started, there was a storyline on All My Children that involved uh, Erica Kane's daughter coming out. Mm -hmm. And one of the questions, as I watched, the press would always ask, would be, are you concerned that playing a gay character is going to ruin your career? Fast forward to 2022, and it feels like, I can't get the words out of my mouth to ask that. But what I'll ask you is, in 2022, to play a character that is uh, on the LGBTQ plus family, what does it feel like in 2022, since obviously you can't speak to, to the prior of it, what is it going? Because clearly, it's not ruining anyone's career. <laughs> no. And it, that really hurt my feelings. I didn't know, like, I wouldn't know that a statement like that would hurt my feelings until you said it. But, I, it, you know, it's, it's interesting because, you know, we live in L.A. and it's so progressive here and there's so, uh, it's so like, it, it's like, oh, okay, that's what it is. And you don't really realize how much, you know, uh, discrimination, bigotry, like, you know, just things like that exist. Um, and, and, and he, because here it's it's all gravy for the most part, and so but then I see the comments come in sometimes for me online, and it and it and it hurts because like for me it's like I can brush it off. I have thick skin. I'm in the business, but like I'm imagining like people who who can't, and it's just it's so sad and it's such a joke like that someone would say that. It, I think everybody sees things through their own limitations. And so I think maybe that's what was happening with all the people who were asking those questions. Like, so that, that's kind of my stance on it is like, you know, you're only as limited as you, as you believe. Uh, I feel love like, who you love. I feel like can't be in <laughs> You love who you love, and that's yeah. the way it should be. Love is love. It's none of my business. Yeah. <laughs> but 
what is my business? Because I would say they pay me to be here, but they don't, and <laughs> I run the show. So, pick a card, any card, and it's yours. I mean, there could be, let's see. What does it say? What would you be doing if you weren't an actor? Um, I would be, like, for a living? Sure, or just in life, yeah. Or right now, today, oh, on well. a Friday night. <laughs> um, is it, it is? No. It is. It's, a, it's, it's Friday. Friday. It's not oh, quite Friday. Friday. Yeah. This is Friday. Yeah. Oh, if I wasn't an actor, I would like to be, like, a food critic or something like that. I want to be, like, just eating all the time and getting yeah. paid to do it. Yeah. That would wow. be fun. Wow, that, yeah. <laughs> I, like that. I like that. Now I'm hungry. Go ahead. Well, my answer is the same. I used to be a journalist, and, and I did do... Uh, arts criticism during that time and and other things and uh, chased ambulances too so uh, <laughs> I would be a writer I'd be a writer I feel like there's a thing here we should uh, be like, writing about I'll eat you write about it <laughs> yeah yeah we like things that don't have a definite schedule we're not nine to five I, no <laughs> thank you both for coming back I appreciate it it's good to see you thank you, thank nice you. To meet you. Thank you. take nice care take care you.